Hey guys, welcome to this video. We're going to be talking about GLM 4.6 in this video. Shout out to Z.AI. They were a sponsor of the channel and then they kind of pissed me off. Um, but still, we're going to talk about the new model mainly because I just want to see if it's any good. Now, this is a brand new GLM model and it is GLM Vision, right? Which is uh, GLM 4.6 Vision. That's what the V stands for. And they do, they have released two models, 4.6 V, which is 106 B. 106 billion and GLM 4.6 V flash, which is 9 billion. So that's two new coders dropped today by GLM. So this will be a pretty good model for the first couple of weeks as is kind of standard. looks like they've um, basically added a bunch of tools and tool use to the native um, API, which is pretty cool. So supports native multi-modality, enabling direct processing of documents containing visual elements. This eliminates the need for cumbersome and error-prone pre-processing steps such as OCR and document parsing. Pretty cool. In addition to the text output, the model is capable of independent decision-making to locate the pages and regions where relevant content resides. It can also invoke tools via MCP for screenshot capture and embedding, generating well-illustrated reports. On the basis of an in-depth paper reading and information analysis and consolidation, the model is endowed okay, with reasoning capabilities, allowing it to express its own insights on the specific topics. So basically, this is pretty standard for most AIs, but this is you know, not so standard for Z.AI. Uh, they've now added this entire feature, which is pretty cool. Um, and we could test this out extremely quickly, but obviously I do want to kind of do quite a big test for this. I don't want to just do a standard test. So we'll jump on over to Claude Code and we'll get this to, I'll just show you guys how you actually do this as well. So you should be able to go to um, Claude Code on the side here. We could use the Claude Code ID plugin actually, that might be a little bit easier. Let's just see. Okay, so we have to actually install it here first. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is there should be a copy button somewhere. Copy page. So let's just jump on over to everyone's favorite tool, Claude Code, and we'll write, we'll write Claude here and say, I want to test the new GLM 4.6 V model. Please install it so I can test it on Claude Code. And then we'll just send that. Oops, just send that. There we go. That should just install everything. So it looks like we need to grab our API key as well. So we'll just grab that. There is a link, by the way, if you're interested in Z.AI uh, in the description of this video. Um, they were a sponsor of the channel. I'm pretty pissed off with them, to be honest with you. They sponsored the channel. They agreed to kind of a long-term collaboration and then canceled it. Pretty standard for companies. Honestly, I really don't like sponsors, guys. I'm not going to lie. Um, I actually really, really, really hate sponsors. Um, but I mean, you know, some sponsors are great, don't get me wrong, but like a lot of the time people are just looking for affiliate deals and they just want to sponsor one video for like 300 bucks and then see how it goes. I'm not really into that, to be honest with you. I think it's quite like, quite offensive, to be honest with you. Like, I don't know. I don't know. It's annoying, but anyway. So I'll just give it my API key here. I actually kind of don't want to even make this video because I'm advertising z.ai uh, for free and they're supposed to be a sponsor and they let me down but yeah like i said it is what it is i make videos because i want to so okay so let's see if we can get Claude code quickly to basically use this model looks like it's done a pretty good job there and then what we want to do is we want to get one of my um prompts or one of my github setups that i'll be able to do a decent test with this model and i'll let you know whether it's worth your time, basically, because that's what we do on the channel. So let's do, let's see, Haiku Shutter, Directory Builder System. Probably the Directory Builder System or the Service Website Generator would be a good test. Let's do Service Website Generator because Opus runs this for hours and hours. So let's see how this does, right? Okay, so we should be able to do MKD, um, GLM 4.6 V, and then CD GLM 4.6 V. There we go. Now, just to mention, guys, a lot of this stuff is available in the school community already. If I just go to the classroom here, and you can see cheap coding, cheap vibe coding with model agnostic like stuff. I already talked about GLM 4.6, as you can see here. Um, and yeah, I was just I was already curious about these things. Kilo code is another one that works really, really well. And I'm gonna add a few more things to this. Um, but yeah, let's uh let's let's do this. So 
the, there's a link to the school community in the description of this video, by the way, and also in the pinned comment. Skip permissions. So this needs dangerously skip permissions, just so that you know. So we'll just do that. Uh, we need to do git clone and then post this and then full stop. And then I need to do git checkout into this model. Just give me two seconds. I always forget what it's called. Um, should be here. So there it is. So git checkout. By the way, guys, this is a completely free um, repository. I'll leave a link to the repository in the description. There's an app generator here. There's a design agent, which does all your SEO for you. There's a directory builder system. And right now the service website generator is the one that people are using the most. People absolutely love this system. Okay, so from here, we just need to run Claude quickly so that we can accept the MCP because there should be an MCP. There we go, let's do slash MCP. Okay, postdoc is there as well, that's fine, that doesn't matter. And then, uh, there we go. Okay, so what do we need to give this? We need to give this our, so what are, what are we? We are a plumber or a plumber in Athen Rye. So this is the way the system works. And then we need to give this, um, we need to give this a Gina API key. So I'm just gonna get a free Gina API key. Basically just go to Gina.ai and grab your key. This will always be a free key and it will be able to build at least one website for you. Um, there we go. That should be everything it needs. Let's just see if this actually works, first of all. So this should be using GLM 4.6 V. Let me just actually check that. Um, continue. Okay, now it should be using GLM 4.6 V. Okay, so we'll let that start running here and we'll just make sure that it's actually working. Okay, it looks like it is working. So let's just go if we can see the usage here. I believe if we go to API key. Hmm. Okay, so it seems as if I can't actually see my usage to confirm whether this is running GLM 4.6. I'm pretty sure it is running GLM 4.6, but it's, it's very, very hard to say. You can see here it says GLM 4.5 Air. Okay, so we'll see if we can get this to work. I just changed all of the models here. So Haiku, Sonnet, and Opus. This is the way it works, if you don't know, uh, to GLM 4.6 V. So it now should always use GLM 4.6 V. Let's see if this actually works. Okay, so this is now using GLM 4.6 V. I'm gonna let this run for a little while. It'll probably take an hour. I'm gonna keep an eye on it, see how long it actually takes, and yeah. Okay guys, so that is now done. And as you can see on my screen, this is not worth your time whatsoever. Everything is broken. Uh, this is a completely terrible model. It didn't use the agents properly at all. It might not be set up for agents, right? It might be set up for other things instead. I will just try one more thing here. I'll just try NPM run build and see what happens. I'm guessing this won't work either. Uh, yeah, it also didn't work. This is a complete nightmare, complete mess, and Haiku would have done a better job. Sonic would have done an infinitely better job. And Opus absolutely smashes this and runs for an hour. So yeah, all right, the memes about Opus 4.5 being nerfed, I agree it has been nerfed, but it would still do a significantly better job than this. Now, when I give it a task, fix it then it just keeps uh just giving me sass and then not actually doing anything um yeah this is not worth your time guys uh, uh i'll test this again with a normal prompt without a um you know complicated claude.md file but i really would have expected this to be able to follow basic instructions uh it seems like maybe it's not set up to use sub agents just yet look it keeps doing this it's not even working anymore guys i'm not gonna lie i wouldn't waste my time with this i will test it again with another test later today and if it does a decent job, you'll see another video. But if not, then just don't even bother. Thanks for watching, guys. If you're watching all the way to the end of the video, you're an absolute legend. I'll see you very, very soon with some more content. Peace out.